trip to Ireland with Mercyhurst was incredible. It was a trip that I will forever remember and forever cherish and always look back on with such a sense of pride and I learned so much, so much about what we were studying in class, but also so much about the culture. And part of that made me learn so much about myself, too. If you're uncertain about studying abroad, it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that you don't want to put off. And I think it's a, an enriching one, and it's not something that you want to regret in your life if you're in college and say, oh, I wish I would have studied abroad, like if you had friends that have, and how they're having so much fun, it's something that you want to be a part of, too. I would say it was the best two weeks of my life, and I definitely plan on going back to Ireland at some point. Made a lot of good friends, both classmates that went with us and local Irish people that hopefully I will stay in contact with. I have great photographs of all the architecture and nature that I'll keep with me, but the memories will last a lifetime, and I'm definitely looking forward to going back. We have a very long-standing relationship with a town on the southeast coast in between Waterford and Cork called Dungarvan. Uh, Dungarvan is Erie's sister city. Anyone who's ever been there will know that Dungarvan is a special place. It is uh, caught between the sea and the Camaral Mountains and its people are extraordinarily welcoming. It, it feels very much like Erie. It really is Mercyhurst in Ireland. Now, uh, in the J term of 2015, uh, we have our eighth group of students over, which makes it somewhere around 230 or thereabouts who have passed through Dungarvan, all of whom we hope have taken back very positive uh, uh, experiences and memories of the town. Certainly, the town has been very willing uh, and actively embraced uh, the students and the faculty when they co come over. Once we arrived in Dungarvan, I immediately felt just a little warmer um, about the culture that was surrounding me. I just noticed that everyone was so happy to see that we were there, they were welcoming. I think Pierce at the hotel even said, this is my home, this is your home for as long as you're here. And uh, they actually seemed a little regretful that we weren't staying for a little more than a week. So um, when you visit somewhere and you have that kind of welcome, it, it truly does make you never want to leave. Um, students do not have to be in any particular class or in any particular major to study in Dungarvan for our Dungarvan term. We do a wide range in our core curriculum and our, our core curriculum is, uh, is, is basically fairly rigorous but it offers courses across a great many subjects. For example, during J term 2015, I taught a class called Performing Ireland Theatre in Context in which students read the great Irish plays. So instead of studying this dramatic literature from a distance, students were able to immerse themselves in that culture as we read and analyzed the plays. So in that way, it allows them to combine traditional modes of research with an opportunity to see, hear, touch, and otherwise experience the world of these plays. In Ireland, I taught a class, it was called uh, Travel and Tourism Design, and the point of the class was really to introduce students to the camera and to the act of really seeing and composing. If you're going to do something like photography, which is what we did, it really challenges students to see what's in front of them, to really look, to observe. And a lot of times when you do that in a localized area, they seem to think they already know it. You take them somewhere else, they don't know it at all, and they are really, really looking. And so it pushes them to perform at a higher level. Many of the students who do Mercyhurst in Ireland haven't traveled abroad previously, but they know that they're with faculty who will create a safe and comfortable environment for them. The faculty chaperone many of the trips, but there are also opportunities for students to explore on their own. And I think that's useful because it allows them to develop their independence by testing their ability to adapt to a new environment. Going with Mercyhurst was really an experience that was enriching. It really helped me explore and experience the country to its fullest. 
I have a ton of favorite experiences. Rock of Cashel was enormous. It was on top of a huge hill. You could see it for miles. I also did part of my brochure on that. I believe I called it a behemoth. It was the only word that seemed fitting. But it was so pretty just standing up there amongst tombstones and just looking out onto the land. Ardmore was the particular day that I got pretty emotional about everything that we were doing over in Ireland, everything that we had seen. When we went to Ardmore, the sky was absolutely perfect for pictures. I know myself, including many others on the trip, got some of their best pictures at those sites. We had Tom Keith leading our way there, so it couldn't have been a greater history of Ardmore, Lismore, Declan's well. It was phenomenal. It was great. The Cliffs of Moore is the one thing that I knew I wanted to see before I went to Ireland. It was one thing I really knew about. Definitely wasn't disappointed. The views there were breathtaking. And you can look at our pictures and everything, and, but nothing's going to do it justice until you're there. I believe it's about an 800 foot drop. It's really just surreal being there, seeing nature and everything. It's beautiful. I think every student should study abroad. Mercyhurst in Ireland provides a unique opportunity to study and travel in a beautiful country with a rich history, and in doing so, develop not only a greater appreciation of that culture, but also a deeper understanding of yourself. I was uh, offered an opportunity to be part of something which was very, very exciting, very, very positive, very, very worthwhile from the town's point of view. But on a personal basis, uh, I have enjoyed every moment uh, without exception. Really how important is travel to me? How important is seeing the world to me? And I came back with the answer that it's extremely important. Absolutely do it. You're not going to have a lot of opportunities like this in your life and you really need to take this opportunity while you have it. You won't regret it, and it'll, as for me, it was the best two weeks of my life. Being able to study abroad with students and friends and professors that you know and that you're comfortable with, it's, it's an opportunity that you're never going to have again. Don't hesitate. I say, full speed ahead, do it. If you have the opportunity, don't pass it up.